Hi there, I'm Pascal, and in this video, I'll show you all the beautiful news that will come with the 6.2 version of WordPress. We have a lot of great improvements coming in the WordPress editor, and there are also some good news for those of you that are already using a full site editing theme. Hi, my name is Pascal, and if you love WordPress content like this one, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Take a Tutorial, where I publish WordPress news, deals, tutorials, and reviews. And thank you in advance if you want to give a thumbs up to this video. I'm very happy to share with you all the news that are coming to WordPress 6.2, and normally the release date for this version of WordPress, it's uh, it will be in 28th uh, of March, and let's hope that uh, that's, that's, it will be on, on track, on time, and let's discover now some cool announcements to our WordPress 6.2. Before starting, if you also are interested in testing all the features that you see here, you can do two things basically. The first thing is install the Gutenberg plugin, because in the Gutenberg plugin you can see all the advanced features that later on will be uh, added to the core. And the second thing, the most uh, common thing, is to go to plugins, add new, and you can search for the beta, WordPress beta testing. So you, you search WordPress beta, you say beta or beta, 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 beta beta <laughs> and then you activate and you install it and be just sure uh, when you install it you can see on tools beta testing here and you have to check to select bleeding edge here and nightlies so like this you have always the latest version that the team the developer teams are working on and you can just save changes and update and test all the latest version after saving these changes, you can go to dashboard updates and from here you'll see a button update to latest 6.2 in this case nightly. So I click on the button and of course, of course, be careful, do this only in test websites, not in live websites. So now we can um, wait a few seconds that the update is, is being downloaded. That's great because you, uh, doing so, you're playing with the latest version of, uh, of WordPress and you are just testing the beta version and you will be ready for the release of the official version. That's great. So once we have done this, I hope it's, it will be interesting for you to test the beta version. And now let's see the main features of the 6.2 version of WordPress. One of my favorite features, it's very easy and simple, but I love it. And it's the distraction-free mode. If I go on edit page now, when I use Gutenberg, uh, Gutenberg, Gutenberg, yes. I can see now here in the upper right side, if I click on the three dots, I see that there is a new option, distraction-free mode. Wow, if I click it, everything will disappear. I love this mode and I will be free to concentrate in my creation proce process. I can go and create whatever I want. Voila, what do you think about this new feature? I love it personally and I think I will use it quite often because normally I get distracted very easily when I'm working on my blog post and so on. I love this feature personally. Oh, of course, how to get out of this feature? At the moment, the only the only way to get out from this feature is to hover with the mouse to the upper part of the website, you see, and all the instruments and all the settings will pop up. I think they will change this because it's a little bit uh, unuser friendly. <laughs> is user unfriendly and uh, I think there should be at least one icon uh, that you that you have to click or hover in order to show the, the top bar. Anyway, it's great and once you discover that you can just hover the top part of the website, you can easily switch back to your normal mode so you will see the admin bar. Of course, you can also disable the full screen so you will see all the other dashboard options but if you like it, you can leave it enabled like this. Another little improvement, it's regarding the reusable blocks. This is great because now they are, how do you say, highlighted in this violet color, which is great because you can easily recognize them among the others. So when you are just, uh, how do you say, customizing stuff around, you see that when you hover the uh, reusable blocks, you see they are in violet and you see this beautiful icon here like this. So you know that you are customizing a reusable block. And now if I edit this block, if I edit this block, Okay, <laughs> uh, and when I when I save it, I see that I am editing my reusable block, of course. So I can save it, and I'm saving a reusable block too. And I think this is a great announcement. It's a little one, but I love it personally. Another cool feature that is coming, it's regarding the document overview here, the list view. And now when you open the list view, you also have the outline, which I believe it was somewhere different be before, and something like here or 
Yes, I think so. And now we got this outline saying oh, how many characters we have in our ch characters or characters. I don't maybe characters. Yes, <laughs> we have in our post and the estimate time to read and words. Of course, here it depends on how quick and how fast you read the stuff. And this is great because we have the full break, uh, breakout, break off, how do you say? Yes, the break off, I think, of the whole article, of the whole content of your page. This is great because if you have long articles with many titles, many paragraphs, it, it's great to, to be able to navigate be between all the elements using this uh, list view here and of course you have the normal list view and as you can see here the reusable your, uh, the reusable blocks sorry are in violet which is great so you can recognize them quickly now we can close this list view and let's discover when we click on the plus icon which will become i guess more and more powerful this little plus icon here on the upper left side of the page when we click it now wow we have a lot of new stuff here inside here we have the patterns which are organized now um, for uh, between different categories and that's great and not only this but you can also click on the explore all patterns and you have a really modern exploring patterns experience here I think that uh, this just needs people to create more patterns. So if you are a des designer out there and you like to contribute to, to the community, just make sure to check this system and try to upload your patterns because we are in need of free patterns. We, we love this and personally I love this, but I think that uh, it's still a little bit um, lacking, uh, lacking features, lacking patterns. But it's great. It's a great solution. And if you want, you can also browse them like this, you see. They're divided from by category and you can easily preview all the different patterns. So this is great. I, I, I also hope that many plugins will maybe uh, integrate with this and add some patterns directly inside the, uh, the Gutenberg system. It would be great without having to add a new system on top of it. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Now we also have a great, 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 super mega great feature, which is media library right inside your Gutenberg experience. So when we click on media now, we can access quickly all our images, which are loaded in our media library. And we can also quick access the media library, which is great. And of course we can also search images. Wow, that's also great. If I type nature, for example, I don't have images saying nature, <laughs> but uh, let me check here, image one image image one one there's a filter that's great and you can quickly find all your images which are saved in your library but the most interesting thing it's this one open verse of course there are many plugins which enables you to integrate directly into your gutenberg with i don't know with uh, unsplash with uh, Pixabay, Pexels, and so on. But this one, it's great because it's native and you get access to thousands or millions even of images and you can just search them by keywords. So if I do like this, nature, for example, I just have to wait a few seconds and you see there are many, many pictures, beautiful pictures, I might say, about nature. And these are all pictures taken from the Openverse, which now has um, a dedicated website, openverse.org which is a great move, this one. And uh, this is produced by the same the same theme working behind WordPress. And um, I'm very happy about it because it's a kind of unsplash, but all, all creative commons and uh, all free. That's great. You can also find uh, not only images, but even audio files, which is great. And I I believe that they will also add some video maybe later on. So it's a kind of a huge library of Creative Commons works all over the, the web, all over the internet. And wow, that's simply great. And uh, I'm very, very enthusiastic about this functionality here. Let me know what you think about Openverse in the comment section below. This is great. When, when you add some image to your post, let's say that we love this natural landscape. When it's added here, we have the automatic caption, which is great. I think it's a great solution, this one. Of course, you can also remove it, but you can leave it like this and it will link directly to the author of this image in this case. So let's get rid of this. And we see that we have just added this image, this cool image from the Openverse library. It's uh, Creative Commons. You see the quick link to the license here, which is great. You see the quick link also to the author i don't know maybe i think this preview link preview it's a it's a new feature <laughs> i love it personally it's great and uh natural la landscape you see voila that's the picture so the it's the link to the picture itself and you can see it here that's great 
And you can also go here and you can see where the picture, where is the author of this picture, which is this one in this case. And uh, wow, that's simply great, I love it. And you can also quickly see the type of license which is ruling this image. No copyright, that's great, <laughs> we love it. And uh, I think this is fair if you leave the custom caption like this, but of course you can also remove it by clicking on remove caption like this. And if you are willing to replace it like this. <laughs> and the other thing you should know when you use these images is that you they are not directly loaded into your media library. So if I click on update now and I go and visit my page from the outside, for example, I will see that that specific image here, when I click on the inspector, I see that it is not loaded on my website, but it's on the CDN of, uh, in this case, it's stucksnap.io. So uh, each time it will be loaded from different sources. It depends from where Openverse loads this image. And uh, anyway, you should know that. And if you want to avoid it, you can just click on the image and you just need to click on uh, where was that icon? Okay, I, f I just found out a little bug, so I hope that they will uh, work on it. And normally, when you upload from Openverse, you immediately see this icon, which is Upload External Image. And so, as I was mentioning to you, when you go on your media library now, and let just make a check now, we open our media library, we see that the image, it's not uploaded in our media library. As I was saying, it's still on the CDN of the website that is loading uh, as an external web, web resource now. And uh, normally you should see that icon, now you don't see it. Uh, maybe there are some images that don't have this functionality. This is great, okay, so good to know. But some other images, when you upload them, you see here, you just need to click here, upload external image, and this image will be uploaded instantaneously into your media library. So get, let's get here, let's go to media, open our media library, and that's it, our images are correctly uploaded into our media library. In this case of the other image, I don't know why, but uh, there might be some images that don't have this functionality. And so you just need to be aware of it, of this, of this uh, little option. So I hope that this will be useful for you and let me know if you will use this feature. And I definitely will use it because it's so, so, so easy. And write me down in the comment section below if you have any thoughts about this new feature coming to WordPress 6.2. Now we also have a beautiful improvement in, uh, in this. You see this icon, this has changed. It was not like this before. It was a little bit different. And now it's like this and uh, I personally like it. And most of all, when we click on different blocks, we see that the settings, the general settings of the block are being splitted between uh, um, with the styles. So you, you see settings and styles are now divided into different tabs. Now, this is the final part of the news regarding WordPress 6.2. And it's all regarding full site editing and the full site editor, <laughs> of course, and full site editing themes. So now, as you can see, I'm using Bloxy theme, which is one of my favorite themes at the moment. And I love it. Everything works perfectly out of the box. There are hundreds of great functionalities right in the free version. By the way, if you like Bloxy and you're interested in discovering this beautiful theme, I also made a full review of this theme, of the pro version also, and you can find it in the cards in this video and also in the description below where I always put some good resources and links for you. So now we can go and talk about full site editing. At the time when I'm recording this video, Bloxy is not supporting full site editing yet. If you want to test full site editing, you need to go to Appearance, Themes, and you need to switch to a theme which supports full site editing. For example, the most used at the moment is the 2023. We can select it, we can activate it right now. And once we activate this theme, we see that the beta how do you say, the beta badge here has been removed. Some people are saying that uh, it shouldn't have been removed because it's still in a kind of a beta version and I agree with that, with that uh, observation. But I love the improvements they made. So when we click on the editor, instead of seeing this, which was the old navigation experience, and as you can see here, there is this weird, uh, how do you say, non-clear stuff because you just have this like this and it's, Kind of weird. I like the improvement here because when you click on the appearance editor now, you see that it's a little bit different and you actually need to click on this button to enable the edit mode. So this is a, a good solution to improve the user usability in general and user experience. And now here you can navigate between all your templates and it was a little bit different before you see. 
there was this page that was a little bit uh, whoa, intimidating. And now you, would just, you can just preview all your different templates quickly. And this is great. I, I like the, the usability improvement now. You can also quickly create new templates from this plus icon, which, is, which was not enabled here. You just could do that by clicking on add new. And if you want to add that screen, if you want to reach the screen like the old version, you just need to go and click on manage all templates now in the WordPress 6.2 version. And you see there is also the same screen. You can also add new elements from here. And in general, there are some a few improvements and the most interesting improvement now is that you can easily go and check your navigation so if i go on templates for example and i go on my home page if i go and click on the menu sample page now i can edit this menu and this the edit this menu this menu it's automatically kept in sync with pages on your site you can manage the menus yourself by clicking on edit of course i want to manage myself and i click on edit and once we do so and we save we can go back here and we see that when we go back, there is this element navigation that it's appearing now. And uh, basically it lets you deal with manage your menu directly from the screen. This is good. And uh, if you want, you can quickly, you see here, remove or uh, just make some settings on your page. You see, and you can also add some new pages. So page list, page break, search, spacer, social icons, custom link. And for example, if I add a custom link, I can go here. I can move, copy block, lock, just a kind of a quick preview of your pages. You can quickly move them around, but all the options, the real settings of these elements, you can find them when you click on edit and you go to your menu. So these are also uh, some good improvements. If you open now your options, your settings page, and you select your navigation, you see that of course you can, of course, even here there is an improved menu list. You can um, easily move and drag and drop all the elements. And most of all, you can also add some sub menus, remove links and uh, renamed, rena rename stuff. So hello, I'm a new name. <laughs> That's great. You can also add some description, link title, link rel. I don't know why they didn't put here also the open in a new tab. If you want to open this link in a new tab, you have to go here and to click uh, enable this switch. So it's a little bit tricky, but it's there still. The option is there, which is the most important thing. Here you can go and for example, link to whatever page you or post or custom link you want. For example, this sample page. And as I was mentioning, you can also add some sub menus. So for example, here in the sub menu, we can go back here and see what we did. So we click on this link and we can actually change this link. So maybe we can link this post here. And so it's the hello post world, hello world. And voila, that's it. So I'm creating a custom menu really easily now. And this is great. And it was missing before. And uh, I think you will be very happy if you, if you are already, if you are already using full site editing, this is a great improvement for your usability. And now what's new, it's also that you can um, uh, basically go here and rename your create new menus. Sorry. You can go here and create new menus or you can switch menus if you have more than one. And you can also go here on the gear icons, scroll down, you can click on advanced and you can change the name of your menu. So for example, main menu. So you can uh, easily uh, see which menus you're using all around your website. So we can save, save again. And um, okay, we can also have some, some fun with some new stuff here. We can add some sub menu overlay text color. We can give it this color and we can improve maybe by adding a background color. If we save and preview our website, we see that we are <laughs> using this. Okay, it's not so readable. So let's click this one maybe. When we go here, we see that there is, okay, reload the page, please. It's not working. Let's click on, okay, I didn't save it. That was the reason. You see the text, it's like this now. Okay, this is uh, funny and uh, I like this improvement on all the options that we have to deal with our navigation. Now I wanted to show you a great feature. If you click here on styles, you see that there is this eye now, open style book, and you can quickly preview the styling, the global styling of your website when you switch between different styles. And this is great because you can see how the styles applies to your text, to your media, to your design elements, for example, buttons and call to actions and so on, to your widgets and to your theme parts.
So this is great basically, let's go on text and let's see when we go on bro styles now and let's switch between different styling. So let's choose the second one, for example, you see, you see immediately how it will look into your website. This is great. Let's check this one. Wow. Let's check this other one. And basically it's, uh, it's beautiful. I love this, this immediate, of, of course you get, you get an immediate different feeling of the whole website. And uh, this is one of the, my favorite parts of the full site editing and all the options that they are adding to WordPress core. This is beautiful, I think. What do you think about it? Let me know what you think about this functionality. I've used hundreds of different tools when, uh, it, it's, uh, when it comes to global styling. I use Elementor, Divi, uh, Bricks uh, or Breakdance or whatever page builder you want to use or even Stackable, Bloxy and so on. But I never found something so smooth and beautiful. You see, with one click, all the stylings of the whole website are globally changed and I can preview them in this beautiful page. And then when you select the different parts, you can also preview, as I was mentioning, the, the design elements, for example. This is great. And not only you can preview them, but of course, for each style, you can also go back here and you can also make your changes. If you want to change the buttons, for example, we can go on blocks now, we can select our buttons and we can completely change all the uh, aspect and <laughs> that's beautiful. I mean, wow. You can also add some additional CSS. I believe that this was not present in the in the previous ver ver version of WordPress. Now you can do so and it's great. You can also go and uh, adjust your button shadows, your border layout colors and typography. This is great. This is uh, a preview of what's coming and uh, <laughs> I love it personally. Let me know what you think about this feature, this particular feature in the comment below. Then one last feature I wanted to talk about, I don't know if it was already present in the 6.1, but I just wanted to mention it. If we go back now to the editor, we go to our homepage, for example, or maybe to our single, yes, maybe here. If we click on edit, okay, now I just need to go outside this style book. And if I click on any element here, any block, for example, this H1 title, and when I scroll down, if I go to the options here, when I scroll down on the advanced tab, I see that there is this styles option and I can just basically uh, make global changes. For example, if I decide that all my H1 titles need to be a different, uh, how do you say, um, in, maybe we can add some background, for example. We go on background, we use this one, for example, and we say that we need this to be for all our titles. So we go in the advanced option, we go to advanced, we, we click on apply globally, and it says apply these blocks, typography, spacing, dimensions, and color styles to all post titles blocks. Okay, so all my post title blocks will have this look. I apply them globally, I save my changes, save it again. And when I go and preview my website, so this is weird too, you see, from here, you don't have an easy way to go and directly view your website from the front end. You only have the preview, uh, but it's not the same thing, of course. And as you can see here, my change has been applied all over my website. So all my post titles are now with a white background, you see. I see my hello world and it has a white background. It's a little bit weird, but uh, it makes you understand the um, power of global stylings that are improving more and more in each new version of WordPress. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about all these improvements in the comment section below. Personally, my favorite improvements are the ones that are inside the block editor. And now I have to admit that my interest in full site editing is growing faster than ever. Because now we can have a glimpse of what we will be able to achieve when WordPress full site editor will be out of beta for real. This is Take a Tutorial YouTube channel. My name is Pascal and I love to create videos about WordPress tutorials, reviews, deals, news. If you like this kind of content, I invite you to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.